Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I became a data analytics consultant. So grab your popcorn. I'm going to start off by kind of explaining what data analytics is. And I'm honestly, I'm just going to read you the Wikipedia definition because it does a really good job of just explaining it at like very high level. So data analysis is a process of inspecting, cleaning, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information informing conclusions and supporting decision making. And then the other half of my job title, which is technology consultant. Consultant is a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, such as business, education, law, etc., etc. So my role is to help provide companies with intelligent industry solutions involving data analytics architecture. So it's cool. I really have the opportunity to work with different types of data depending on the projects that I go on. Okay, so let's rewind back to when I was a freshman at the University of California at Santa Cruz. And like many freshmen, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I spent almost my whole freshman year taking intro classes just to kind of figure out what I was passionate about and what I was just naturally good at. I took sociology, astronomy, theater. I really just took a bunch of random classes. One of my favorite classes that I took was Intro to Computer Science. I had no idea what went into computer science before I took this class. Growing up, I used to be really into playing The Sims and specifically, I really liked using the cheat codes and there was like a little prompt box up at the top, kind of like a, a prompt box when you code, like, um, like a bash script you would write some type of query or code basically telling the computer to do something for you and then it would do it. It's just so cool to me. Other than that, I've just always really loved logic and puzzles and solving problems and computer science just seemed to really encompass just everything that I was into, except at the same time, I'm really enjoying my psychology class. So I decided I went to double major in psychology and computer science. Fast forward to summer going into my junior year, I get a bioinformatics internship at a genomic- I meant genomics. Research Institute. This was probably my most formal introduction into what data analytics was. Informatics kind of coincides with data engineering and data science. I did a lot of ETL, pipelining, running a statistical tests on the data and I did a lot of data visualization and I loved creating these visualizations. Um, I was doing it in R. Uh, R is definitely more commonly used in the research world and so this was something else that was going on. I went to a research university and I had this research-based internship so it was definitely going towards the path of research. I'd say the bioinformatics internship was the pivotal point where I learned I didn't want to go into research. I didn't want to go into specifically bioinformatics or healthcare. I really did like analyzing data. So I go back to school my junior year. I'm on a high. I know so much for my internship. I'm so ready to go and ace all my classes. And then I fail. I fail an entire quarter and I get put on academic probation. I just realized you can hear the lawnmower going on in the background of the video. That's somewhere outside. Pretty symbolic of how I was feeling at the time. And I also just become super disengaged with my classes and the material. It's just not interesting to me. What I was learning in my classes wasn't what I had done in my internship. I'm just super discouraged. Aww. And I don't want to be a CS major anymore. CS major anymore. This um, failure of mine was definitely a really big wake up call. After I failed these classes junior year, I realized that I needed to try a lot harder and I needed to put in more work and more time. Growing up, I was the worst studier ever. I never really studied and learned how to study up until probably I'm going to say that year in college. This concept. I finally got it. I started to move forward. So I'm doing a lot of research to figure out what my options are. Basically, how can I study data analytics without studying data analytics at my school since we don't have a major for data analytics? Oh my god, you guys, the lawnmower is so bad. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. 
I don't want to have to refilm this, so. I seriously didn't even notice when I was filming. I was just so immersed in what I was doing. I'm still really loving psychology and learning about humans, how they interact with each other, just the relationship part. It's really important for me to have a job where I will be communicating with people and developing relationships and not just sitting in front of a computer screen and coding all day. So I know I want to keep something with psychology, but also something with computer science. Luckily, there was a major at my school that fused both psychology and computer science and it was cognitive science with a concentration in HCI, which is human-computer interaction, and AI, which is artificial intelligence. Thankfully, I had already taken most of the classes I needed for this major because now I was almost done with junior year and I kind of needed to hurry things up if I wanted to graduate on time. So this was awesome. I had figured out what I wanted to major in and I would also kind of figured out what I wanted to learn. After I had picked that major, I did something that I would highly recommend if you're in college you do this as well. I went through the entire course catalog of my school and looked at classes for all different types of subjects and I handpicked the ones that I thought would be really helpful for what I wanted to go into and I went and I petitioned for that class to count as part of my major. This was really easy for me to do considering the cognitive science major was so new and they were still kind of trying to figure out what classes to include for that major. For example, I took a visual communication and interaction design class and that was a game design class and that kind of ties back into data visualization because it was a lot about creating prototypes Another class that I went and petitioned to take was a quantitative data analysis class. This was actually a graduate level class, so if you find a graduate level class at your school that you really want to learn the material, I say email the professor and take the class because you could really learn a lot and you can learn something that might help you in your future career. Okay, so it's my senior year now and I'm about to graduate and I still have only had one internship and I decided I want to get a little bit more experience before I start into a full-time job. So I applied to and work for a summer camp that summer after my graduation. I was a camp counselor and teacher at a technology sleepaway camp. Yes, those exist. <laughs> it was kind of a mix of like summer camp, sleepaway, and uh, tech. So I taught classes in Python. Photoshop and HTML. I had a lot of responsibility at that camp and it taught me really good time management skills I want to say. Just having to lead a group of people really pushes you to do your best since you're essentially managing kids and their learning and growth. Once I get back from camp I'm is that high and I kind of start going down a low path again. And now I'm just like a little uncertain with what I want to do. Do I really want to go into a full-time job? I started working at the local boys and girls club just to kind of make money while I was looking for full-time jobs. I stumbled upon this internship called the Disney College Program. And that, that was kind of the start of when I made some videos in the past was when I was applying to that program. That was a... Yeah. Although my experience with the Disney College Program was not the best. I didn't have the greatest time. Really solidified for me that I definitely wanted to go into tech and I definitely wanted a 9 to 5 job because I wanted to be able to financially support myself and start saving money for the future. It was really hard to do that um, working at the Disney parks. I did learn so much about customer service. Disney really gets it in terms of how to provide excellent customer service. They provided us with so so many trainings that were, I learned things that I can definitely apply in my job now. And I would, even though I didn't have the best time at this program, I would still probably recommend it to people who want to learn more about how to just provide excellent hospitality and, and customer service. Like, as a consultant, this was a really valuable experience to have, I think. I believe having the Disney Sales and Service Internship combined with the Bioinformatics Internship my major, and my summer camp, those four things are what ultimately helped me get my job as a data analytics consultant. 
I moved back to California because I had moved to Florida for the internship and I started applying for jobs in tech. So this was over the summer. I had a referral for the job that I got now. I can do a whole video on how to apply for jobs. My advice is to find a referral. I think it's a lot easier to get into a company with one and there are ways to do that if you do not know anybody. The interview process for my job took two months. I had four interviews. Once I finally got the job, my start date wasn't for like another four months, I want to say. So from when I first found the job and started applying was probably in June. And I didn't start that job until January of the following year. So it took a really long time. But honestly, it was so worth it. When I first started, I was a little bit nervous. It had been a long time since I had touched technology in terms of like, working with data. Now I work with data every day and I just love it. It's so much fun. I think one of the reasons I'm so confident with my career choice is because I really did try so many different things before I picked this career. At the end of the day, it's going to make you a better data analyst anyways if you just have knowledge on a lot of different things. Just because at, in my job, I typically use a lot of different ways of thinking like I do a lot of creative thinking and then I also have to do a lot of analytical thinking. I'm so happy with where I ended up and I just want to say that like the crazy thing is is that this was my story and this is how I ended up with my job but all of my coworkers have a completely different story. Some of my coworkers have a degree in math or business or someone did a boot camp, some even have a master's in analytics. You, we have people with all different types of backgrounds and having that diversity I think is also really great. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video and let me know in the comments what you think. Also, I'd love to hear your story about how you ended up in your career field or maybe what your aspirations are. Also, like, it's okay if you don't know what you wanna do. Just, I would say be proactive in trying to figure out what you want to do. Because the more you look, the more you'll find, and the more you'll know if it's something you like or not. 